And here we are back again with a little bit of geometry. Chapter 2, Section 6, Proving Geometric Relationships. We're looking at a few different types of proofs in this section. First, some theorems. The right angles congruence theorem. Uh, the right angles congruence theorem states that all right angles are congruent. Uh, obviously, they are all 90 degrees. So their measure is equal, makes them congruent. Okay. If we want to prove that right angles are congruent, here we are given two angles. One and two are right angles. We want to prove that one is congruent to two. We are supposed to make a flowchart proof. Now, what in the world is a flowchart proof? Okay, we've looked at two column proofs where on one side we say this statement, this was given, and then we make our statements. Well, a flowchart proof is basically the same thing, just in a different shape. Okay, so I'm going to make a little flowchart like this, little bubbles, and write in there. What are we given? And then I'll write underneath what's given, and a little arrow to my next statement. All right, then my next statement from here is going to be that measure 1 is 90 degrees and measure 2 is 90 degrees. Okay, because that's the definition of a right angle. All right, then from there... I will state that measure 1 is equal to measure 2. Okay, that's the transitive property. If I know that measure 1 is 90, measure 2 is 90, then measure 1 is equal to measure 2. And the definition of congruent angles, if their measures are the same, the angles are congruent. So that's what a flowchart proof looks like. Basically the same thing as the two column, just drawn differently. All right, here are theorems 2, 4 and 2, 5, congruent supplements theorem. Okay, so we have supplementary angles. If two angles are supplementary to the same angle, so 1 and 2 are supplementary and 3 and 2 are supplementary, then these two angles, 1 and 3, are congruent to each other. The congruent complements theorem. If two angles are complementary to the same angle, so 4 and 5 and 6 and 5 are both, 4 is complementary with 5, 6 is complementary to 5, so 4 and 6 would have to be complement, uh, would have to be congruent. And make sure you don't confuse congruent and complementary. Complementary means it adds to 90 degrees. Congruent means it has the same measure. So if two angles are complementary, so they add to 90 with the same measure, then they are congruent. They have the same measure. All right. We want to use a two-column proof, and uh, we want to use the given two-column proof to write a flowchart proof that proves that two angles are supplementary. Okay, so here's our two-column proof. Okay, we know that... Oh, there we go. Let's look at this. This is what we're given. We want to use this two-column proof here and just transfer this into a flowchart proof. So we'll take this first part, put a bubble around this, right given. Put a bubble around this, right underneath, and label it. Okay, so transferring this into a flowchart proof would look like this. Now notice that in the previous statement we had two things that were given. Okay. In a flowchart proof, we would just either list them together or list one after the other. We could say this is given, and then in the next step we could also th say that is given, or we can list them together. Okay. Here, if two things are given, we'll make two different lines, and then one flows from the other, and lead these together into one statement. Okay. So that's the only thing where we're slightly different, where we go... From this, we conclude this statement. From measure from angle 3 and angle 2 are supplementary, we conclude this statement. Since they're supplementary, they add to 180. Knowing both of these, we know that transitive property, if this equals the same thing as this one, then these two equal each other. All right, we've got another postulate, and then one more theorem. The linear pair postulate. Okay, so if you have an angle that creates a linear pair, then they are supplementary. 
and our vertical angles congruence theorem. This one's pretty easy. Vertical angles are congruent. So 2 and 4 are congruent. 1 and 3 are congruent. They're vertical angles. All right. Proving vertical angles congruence theorem. Use the given paragraph proof to write a two-column proof of vertical angles. Okay. Um, we're just going to look at the paragraph proof now because the question is, what is a paragraph proof? We haven't talked about this yet. So we have a paragraph proof here. Given 5 and angle 7 are vertical angles, 7 and 5, we want to prove that these two are congruent. Okay, so our paragraph proof, basically, like the other proofs, I state the different facts, I make statements, but in this case, I write sentences. So I would say angles 5 and 7 are vertical angles formed by intersecting lines. Okay, in my two column proof, I would say this is given. As shown in the diagram, 5 and 6 are a linear pair. So these two are a linear pair, and 6 and 7 are a linear pair. We know that linear pairs, by the linear pair postul postulate, these two are supplementary, so are these. If they're supplementary to the same angle, then they are congruent. There's the proof of vertical angles being congruent. They are supplementary to the same angle. All right, using angle relationships. Find the value of x. Given that, what do we know about these two? They are vertical angles. So, angle TPS is vertical. to angle QPR, which we know that the measure, oh wait, we know that vertical angles are congruent, TPS is congruent to the measure to angle QPR. We know that by the vertical angles theorem. And so we know measure of TPS is equal to the measure of QPR. QPR. There we go. Letter P. There we go. Now, the nice thing is it doesn't say to prove this. So we're just finding the value of x. Since the measures are equal, I can say... 148 is equal to 3x plus 1. Solve this, subtract 1, 149, and that is a 4, is equal to, so, sorry, I said subtract 1, didn't I? What is happening here? 47 is equal to 3x. Divide that by 3. Cancels out. 147 divided by 3 is 49. So x equals 49. Found the value of x. Check. Make sure you read your questions closely. What are we looking for? All right. Here's a little summary. These are types of proof we looked at. We've got the two-column proof flowchart proof, and paragraph proof, all of the same thing side by side here. So given that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, we want to prove that angle 2 is congruent to angle 1. That's a symmetric property where we flip those two around. Right? So from congruency, which is given, we know that their measures are equal. We know the symmetric property of equality means we can flip those around. And since their measures are equal, we can state that they are congruent because that's the de definition of congruent angles. Okay, so that's a proof. We can rewrite this in a flowchart proof looking like this, or we can write a sentence or a statement, a paragraph. Basically, the way that I was describing this as I read through it, you would just write out in a sentence. 
So there you have it. That's it. Types of proof. Two-column proof, flowchart proof, and paragraph proof.